Hi there, it's Priscilla Batsell again in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery's backyard. And I have colors left and a desire to continue. So I am going to take what I have and probably in a moment or two add it to that canvas along with some white stripes and maybe some black stripes, but mostly I'm going to try and use what I've got, all of what I've got. That might be a tall order. I haven't used any black today and I want some. What else have I not used? I have not used a lot of this green. My torch is not where it belongs. I haven't used any of this really neat. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know what color to call that. I've got some metallic turquoise, which is always a favorite. I don't know why, but it makes me want some red. I've got some gorgeous magenta. I use pretty much exclusively golden magenta, but it's incredibly expensive to buy the four ounce bottle. So my recommendation is to you is to wait until there's a 50% off coupon on your email and get the Michaels app. <laughs> totally. So what else? I like the dark purple for drama. I like the light metallic purple for sweetness. And I love my favorite color in everything. And I want some red. I keep trying to avoid the red. Taking the cap off will help. I have no white in there and I have some white pearl and I like the white pearl. And we're just going to shovel this right up. And yeah, it's kind of the same colors, but um, if you want different colors, go watch somebody else. I have this gorgeous blue that I do not use often enough. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the stuff right there. So this time I'm going to try. I'm not done. <laughs> that's... My Prussian blue with the decor pouring medium along with the flow troll and the GAC 800. The GAC 800 is my golden and it keeps my paints from, uh, from cracking for the most part. And I'm going to try and level out my pan of colors. You can't see them, but that's okay. I'll get back there in a minute. I'm going to put my scoop right in that dish. What I really like to do, honestly, other than put some of that hot pink in there. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, is make a big wide band of white. That's pearl, that's pearl. I'm going to try something new. Now, maybe I'll get another one out, maybe I won't. My marble that I shake my paints up with, because they're all pre-mixed, is right there in the bottom. And it lodges itself in the tip. I have Princeton Art Tools, Catalyst Spatulas. And they are really good for spreading paint and moving paint. I love them. I have like six. I have the flat nose, the round nose, the rectangular one, not this one, long thin one. I missed a few, I'm sure. Trying to work and talk is always interesting. I do manage to do it most of the time, though. So, this time, I'm going to use the white, hopefully, as a catalyst for selling. I didn't put any silicone in my mix, because it would be really hard to clean this canvas anyway, being that it's pre-primed in black. I'm just going to run that right down the edge. There we go. Now what I want to do is just get out my shovel. I know I had my, my little scoop out there and I may use it still, but I think the colors are getting a little too muddy for me to want to use it right now. So I'm going to grab my shovel and I'm going to just take a huge scoop. And just let it slide all the way down. I'm, looks like, yeah, <laughs> looks like I'm going to have a little extra paint there. Oh well, we're getting some pretty patterns.
the white wet paint acts as an aid to making the rest of the paint flow down so I don't need quite as much in my shovel, which is kind of neat. And very convenient at the moment. Now rather than reach over all of that, I think... Boy, it just makes me want to make a checkerboard. I'm going to take just some of this and slide it right along that edge. And then if I want to, I can come back with a skewer because that is kind of my plan, is just to skewer a few things, maybe add some paint marks here and there. Got some gorgeous paint on the back of that shovel, I want to tell you what. Cool. I'm just going to take what's on my shovel and knock it right off on the parts of the canvas that you can't see, sorry. <laughs> oh well. And uh, from then, I get to decide what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep using my shovel to make a few zigzags here and there. And hope that I don't hate that. <laughs> I keep trying. I have glasses. I didn't put them on, but I'm about to. I also have a desire to see what happens. Actually, I know what will happen. It just creates patterns on both sides, as opposed to using a shovel edge, which does not. So I can have one or the other, or in this case I can have both. And I also can take my little tiny spatula and do some linking. Which I've been thinking, oh, that rhymes, yeah, okay, um, would be fun. And to do that, I'm gonna throw my, to do that, I can take paint out of the shovel or off the back of the shovel before I put it in my water bucket. I don't really know what I'm gonna get yet, and I do have squeeze bottles and. If I use white in between, I can use either my folk art purple or the neon pink and have much better chance of them actually showing up. I think I want to not leave my tops where I have a problem with them. And as much fun as it is to spatula through, and it is, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. I was say, you definitely disturb the pattern. I have some pretty blue here, and that is something I want to put down. I have eight minutes left. I've been losing track of time quite a bit right now, because I'm having such a good time playing with all my potential patterns. And I haven't pulled out the chain yet, and I've been threatening to do so as I work today.
I got I keep holding on to those silly caps. And I can keep adding colors wherever I want. Because I have squeeze bottles and that's one of the best reasons to have them is because you can be very spontaneous. You don't have to stop and mix up paint. Same reason for this Princeton Catalyst spatula is you can just decide that you want to do something cool and make some marks and make them. And I could, and I think I will, probably torch in a second because we might release some colors. Actually, you know what I'm going to do before that? I'm going to use this medical tubing instead of a bendy straw. And I recommend the bendy straws. The only reason I have the tubing is to try and keep my head out from underneath the camera, which does not necessarily work all the time. And I'm so sorry for that, but you know, I'm an artist and I'm in the in the heat of the moment and uh, I love that color and I'm going to put some up there. And I don't mind interrupting myself all the time, obviously. Now, even though that went like that, I can still make it into what I want to be. I'll lead it right over the edge. And sort of bury that other line. I'm getting somewhere, slowly. Be nice to stop and take a look once in a while and see what I'm doing. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with a lot of this actually. It's just shoots and ladders. I never did play that game. I don't really know what I'm saying when I'm saying that. All right, I want to take my medical tubing in my hand and blow. Some random lines across. The marks that I have there now and change it up just a little bit more. Those are bubbles. I see you, Bubbles. Goodbye. We do use the torch to release the bubbles. I think I need to turn this around and have a look at it. Whoa! Paint. Okay. Man overboard! Kinda wanted some black in there. But this is this is a little fun right now, so I'm I'm wondering if I really want to do too much more to this. Some things are just good the way they are. Don't mind the few blobs that didn't bother me. Don't know what that's going to dry like, but that's okay. might be considered a little quiet right now, but I am kind of focused. we got three minutes left, so that's usually my cue, and it is again, to tell you that if you enjoy what I do, my only source of income is from YouTube. I do sell my artwork. I would love to sell you some artwork. I'd like to have some of my beautiful things go to a good home instead of sitting in a stack on my fireplace. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You can find listed what's listed so far for YouTube Artworks is on the Facebook album link underneath the video description at the bottom. Under Show More, you have to open Show More in order to, to use it. And there's also links for PayPal and Patreon if you want to donate. There's also links for Pinterest and Instagram if you want to visit. I'm not thinking I need to do a whole lot more. 
I haven't used very much white pearl. I said I was going to turn it around and I didn't get very far, did I? But this is fun. Um, I am having fun. I promise. That's not white pearl, but this is. And do I like the white line? I don't know. Feel the need for orange coming on. I never did pull my chain. Maybe we'll maybe we'll have a quick look and see what a little chain will do. Let's go where let's move some paint out of the way. We've got a lot of stuff in the way in the heat of the moment. I really don't want to mess with anything too much. Yep, but I do want to see what it'll do. Cool. This is a particularly nice area that I don't want to screw with too awful much. I like this, but I want to use my bamboo skewer to add some more texture right there. and maybe just continue in that vein. Crisscrossing. All right, I think we've reached a critical stage where I don't want to ruin it. With the exception of maybe adding a little orange here and there. Yeah, I needed that. and naked down this corner, but maybe it needs to be. I think I told you everything I need to tell you, except for to say thank you again to all of my patrons and contributors who've kept me working. I really appreciate your help, and you have kept me working, I remind you. I love all the comments I get. I want some more dots of orange around. Not sure I care where they go. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but they're okay where they're at. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying mid-century modern is making a return. <laughs> if I have anything to do with it, and if it really is, maybe it's just, whoops, Get another orange dot. Maybe it's just me. We'll take our dots where they land. <laughs> that's, way, that's the way this is working. And then we'll add a few. Maybe a few more. The dog has discovered something interesting and he is barking about it. Okay. I bet you're gone. But if you're not, you'll understand where that yellow, yellow line came from. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know if that was a super good idea or not. Maybe a little more here and a little more there. And it'll be, oh yeah, hey, that's good. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. And I'm good to go.